Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Dre. Now, I wanted to make this video. There's a recent story that just went out. It's about this guy named Steve Stevens. Um, this black guy in Cleveland. Uh, he recently murdered this 74-year-old black guy named Robert Godwin Jr. Um, and he did this all on Facebook Live. Now, apparently, this guy Stevens, he was having some issues uh, where he's made a lot of mistakes. He's also mad at his girlfriend for breaking up with him. Um, I'm not going to post the video because it's still, um, you know, rather shocking and just upset about the whole situation. Um, just rolling up on someone, you know, completely innocent and taking his anger out on them. Now, uh, he's been posting a lot on Facebook and the video that he has, Facebook has uh, taken it down, but it's already been shared. So it's out on the Internet. I've seen the, the video a couple of times. Um, and again, it's just heartbreaking that. Uh, anything like this could happen to anyone. Um, but I'm just going to read a little bit of uh, his Facebook post that he posted earlier. And it says, uh, Facebook, my life for the past year has really been fucked up. I lost everything I had due to gambling at Cleveland Jack Casino and Erie Casino. Now, I'm not going to go into details, but I'm at my breaking point. I'm really on some murder shit, Facebook. You have four minutes to tell me why I shouldn't be on death row. I'm dead serious. And then he has a... Uh, Hashtag Team Death Row. Uh, again, 74-year-old Robert Godwin Sr. was just walking along, minding his business. And on one of the videos that Stevens posted live, he he basically says, uh, I'm about to murder this guy right here. So he walks up to Godwin, and he asks Godwin to say the girlfriend's name. And then he said, um, you know, this is her fault for what's about to happen to you. Then he raises the gun to the guy's head. Godwin tries to put his hands up defensively, but Stephen shoots him in the head. And then he turns around as he's walking away and shows uh, Godwin laying lifeless on the ground in a pool of blood. Um, the Cleveland Police Department, they have basically called for uh, people to be on the lookout to stay away because he's armed and dangerous, obviously so. But... Um, there's uh people that are angry in the community and rightfully so i'm here in texas and you know i'm pretty pissed off about this i mean we already have enough going on with us but for this guy um this black man to commit this act of crime against another black man especially an older man who had nothing to do with the current situation uh, i hope this motherfucker dies and it's really never one never me to uh wish that kind of ill will towards anyone especially another black man but um, this is he sets a bad example for us as black people and there's a lot of other people uh, from all ethnicities that are pissed off especially in the black community uh, he's taken the life of someone who um, you know the family they'll never see him again this a poor innocent man lost his life um, and the way I see it this guy's a fucking coward because more than likely what's gonna happen is he's not gonna want to go uh, go in peacefully if the police do catch up with him he's going to want to try to go out in a blaze of glory um, and whatever happens to him it happens and i'm not going to lose uh, any tears over it um, because this is the kind of shit that uh, sets a bad example for for the black community uh, daily i'm on facebook feeds and with my videos and i'm talking to people and everyone always brings up especially when it comes to non-blacks bring up about black on black crime in, in uh, detroit and chicago uh does it exist yes but it's intra-racial which means that you're within pro close proximity of someone who's going to do harm to you and is usually someone of the same ethnicity it's no different than white on white crime uh, but that's a different story again uh, this is a black man that committed a violent act against another black man who had nothing to do with his own fuck up but uh, the people out there in Cleveland who are looking for him the brothers out on the street I hope you find this motherfucker and I hope you deal with him in the harshest manner possible because we already know um, if he encounters the police, if he's cornered, he's going to want to shoot it out or he's going to take the fucking cowards when he's going to try to commit suicide, whichever way he needs to cease to exist. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe and share. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter. Peace.